what's up you guys it's pretty cool films and today we'll be doing a re-review of the batman animated series batman figure uh batman version 2 from dc collectibles so uh why a re-review um you're probably asking if you've seen my uh batman video not too long ago uh you would see there's pro you would probably see it i'm uh the difference so what I did was customize his eyes. They were very thin originally, and um, I painted some more white into the holes that weren't. F I just noticed before I painted it that the holes weren't um, filled out all the way with white paint, and they just did kind of this uh, strip, and it made him look like he was squinting or something. And I was like, oh, this doesn't look like him. So then I painted the eye holes and I was like oh my god this looks like it now and I mean the white paint didn't exactly ruin the figure it just looks kind of like it was done a little poorly plus I had to kind of paint around the eyes just to clean up some little lines that I had made mistakes on but uh yeah so basically this re this re-review is to up you uh, <laughs> update you guys I can't even talk update you guys on what I've discovered about this figure along the way and a few warning issues and pretty much just what it looks like now with these uh, eyes. So <clears throat> his eyes pretty much just, you know, like I said, I just painted it in where the eye holes were. I filled it in a little bit more because it just didn't look right the first time around. And if you want to do this, just get a toothpick. Get some white paint, paint it in very carefully, very gently. Make sure you have some black paint on you just in case you make some mistakes. I got a little bit of black paint on his nose area because I did kind of, you know, shake my arm a little bit. I was a bit shaky, so I was like, oh, I gotta do this without. And then my arm kind of slipped. I made like this little streak. I wiped it off, but it still had the streak of sort of dried paint on there or whatever, like the fade mark. And... I just filled it in with some black paint on the nose, very little. Uh, it looks a little sloppy, but from far away you can barely tell, and it looks more accurate this way. Um, I'll try to put a picture at the end of the video of what it looked like, you know, back then. And uh, yeah, so another thing I want to go over is um, articulation. I don't think I went over every part of articulation in my pr first video. So let's just take a look at that real quick. But first, actually, I want to go over this. Um, as you can see, uh, I broke the peg on my hand, on the grapple hand. I noticed that the grapple hands on most of these figures where they have a grappling gun, if they have one, uh, the peg is a lot more... Um, I guess fragile as opposed to like one of the other pegs so again you know whether it's the grapple hand peg or just or just even um, a regular hand peg just be careful look I got glue I tried to melt the plastic back to the hand with a lighter I you know it failed so it doesn't look the same as the original but it does go back in there just fine it sticks out a little bit I'm not gonna try to so you do lose a part of well I lost a part of articulation by doing this because I can't hinge the hand now uh, if I do it might break and it barely slips into that uh, hole or peg anymore without you know so I don't want to break it so I'm trying my best not to um, you know so I, I won't really finagle with that right now but yeah so um, let's see if we're gonna do a review might as well go over the hand so we've got two fisted hands the other one is on his uh, hand right now it's in the arm um, he's got uh, God, where is it Two, two, two battering holding hands. It comes with a battering. They do fit into his hand like so. You could put it in the other way, and he does hold a very uh, tight grip on it. Yeah, pretty much like that. Um, and he has two steering wheel hands, and I say steering wheel hands because it's for the Batmobile. If you decide to buy the bat, uh, the Batmobile from DC Collectibles, he does come with a uh, second grapple gun or grappling hook. It kind of fits into the steering wheel hand. Um, you know, this is more of his gripping hand. I'll just call it that. His gripping hand doesn't really, you know, serve a purpose or do anything. So, you know, that's that. And then he comes with the grappling hand that I pretty much went over. Uh, I could just basically get it like that, so I can't hinge it anymore. I basically have to position his arm more, so um, 
yeah, so let's just put a normal hand in there for now, a fisted hand, just so I can do that, so yeah. Okay, so, the articulation, this is the last thing, and then we'll end the video there. So his head can pivot, it can go up, it can go down, <laughs> down, down, uh, it can go left and right, it can pretty much go full 360 on that. So yeah, uh, up and down, head pivot, left and right, um, and a neck can go pretty far back and uh, pretty far forward. Uh, nah, not really, but you know. But yeah, it's great for the up because that's something kind of needed for Batman. So his arms can go out just about that much again with the joints and things breaking on these figures. Uh, you might want to apply some heat to him or you know, pretty much any DC collectible before moving the articulation because you could break or snap something off. And again, these... Um, Actually, I haven't even talked about this. Uh, these fins, they can break, so be careful with those. Mine's already having kind of this warping issue. I don't know if you can see the warp, but yeah. So yeah, that's that's kind of a, a problem, just things breaking off. So arm can go all the way around, can go in and out. It can go about eh, like that. I don't want to force it much more than that. Uh, yeah, this is this... This is me forcing it right now, but I, I'm pretty sure yeah, that's about as far as it can go out. Um, he's got an elbow bend, he's got an elbow swivel, and um, no no upper uh, glove rotation. He's got a rotation at the hand, uh, wrist hinge, he's got a waist swivel. I don't know if anyone else has found out about this than me, but it's a little tight. So again, you know, with things breaking, be careful. You might want to apply some heat or you could loosen up just moving it a little bit. So yeah, that works too. Um, legs can go out. He's got that weird crotch thing going on and um, legs can go forward about that much and when you do that you have this like butthole thing going on and th no this isn't broken this is meant to be this way so you can sit him in the Batmobile properly without um so yeah they purposely sculpted or made his butthole like that and it's it, it, you know it's it can it can uh, for his legs to go back it does kind of I don't know, it doesn't really close. But yeah, his legs can go pretty far back. They can go pretty far forward. And that's meant for him to sit in the Batmobile. You can pretty much do the splits. Um, oh crap, did I break it? I feel like something's broken. Oh my god. Oh no, that's fine. I think I may have stretched it out a little too far. So again, be careful. You know, you could break it. Um, like I said, like forward, backward, in and out. Uh, he's got a single hinge at the knee that far back. Um, no, no upper boot rotation. He does have an ankle hinge and an ankle pivot. So, um, minus my minor gripes, I think that this is a great figure. Um, I won't, like I said, this is just kind of a small re-review. It's not meant to be a whole review. Um... So if you want to see more more detailed review, please check out the video, uh, the original video. I'll put it a link in the description if I if I or no not if I can I will I will put a link in the description or you can check out my channel. It's actually not that far from where this video is um, on my channel. So uh, yeah, uh, that's my review. Um, I would give it about a nine out of ten just because of breaking hinges and the small paint detail in the eyes weren't accurate. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked my review. My name is Pretty Cool Films. You guys are pretty cool. See you guys next time.